hi guys this is prashun das here and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to discuss about singleton design pattern in java and i'm going to give you some basic insights about it now suppose we have a class named db connection properties with a method get connection we use this method to establish a connection to a database so the basic flow of this method is we get the details from a properties file and then use the details to connect to a db a basic db connection architecture since the connection properties will not change every now and then that is it will always remain static unless and until the db server is changed hence it is a wise decision to retrieve the details once and reuse it whenever needed now in this method we can write the code to establish a connection to db and return the object but now for convenience sake i am just printing out a value which is like connection is established so whenever we need to establish a db connection we will create an object of this class and use the object to call the method get connection so now we have a class named as need details and need details class has a main method so in the main method we are creating an object of class db connection properties with the name obj and then we are calling the get connection method i am also printing out the hash code value of the object also i am creating another object named as obj2 calling the get connection method and then printing out the hash code value as well when the main method is executed we can see in the console that two different hash code values are generated indicating two different instances now if we create five separate reference objects of class db connection properties and call the get connection method five separate reference objects are created each time occupying more memory to establish the same db connection so what if there was a way to create just one object and utilize that single object to fetch the data that we need that's how the concept of singleton design pattern came into the picture with singleton concept we follow few steps to create a single instance of an object and then just use that again and again now let's see a demo of singleton design pattern we are using the same class db connection properties with the method get connection so the first step involves creating a private static instance of the class that we need to be a singleton so in this case we define private static db connection properties db instance is equal to null next we create a private blank default constructor so that no new object creation can take place finally we create a public static method named get instance in this method we check if db instance is null if it is we create a new object for class db connection properties and return it this is the object that will be used by other methods now in the main method of class need details dot java we want to establish a db connection we create an object of class db connection properties calling the get instance method the reason we make the method get instance static is so that it can be called directly by class reference and we need not create another object when we get an object back we can then call the get connection method we can also create another object reference and call the get instance to check if the same object is being referred when we print the hash code values of both the objects we will see that they both are the same and thus we get an assurance that a single instance of class db connection is created each time this is because we are not allowed to create an object reference using the new keyword but allowed to create it only by calling the get instance method and this method has the logic to create an object reference only once if we try to create an object by using the new keyword 
it will give us a compilation error as the constructor of class db connection properties is private. The new keyword always calls the constructor and this time it fails to do so. It is always recommended we use the singleton design pattern when we are connecting to a database so that the same connection is reused or to fetch resources which will always remain constant. So guys, I hope now you have a basic understanding of what a singleton design pattern is. Also do like the video and subscribe to the channel if this video helped you in any way. Thank you.